Hey, Richard, what about stable coins on the Pulse chain? Yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting. So I, if I were in charge of the USDC company, I would not uh, honor Pulse USDC at a one-to-one -one valuation for U.S. dollars in the bank account because those are already encumbered by the USDC that are minted on the Ethereum network directly. But I also wouldn't go and invalidate the coins, which they do have the admin keys to do. They could just invalidate all the coins. But then there's a possibility the users could sue them because it's very likely that those coins will find a value. Just like Tether lost 630 or $670 million to a Polish bank seizure, kept, kept pegged to a dollar the whole time. No one cared. And, and here they are today with, you know, letters of audit from uh, some bank or some accounting place somewhere that says that the money's fully backed. So, you know, a letter of attestation, I believe, is a technical term. So you, I, even if a stablecoin isn't actually backed by a dollar, I guarantee you it will have a value. And I guarantee that value would be higher than nothing. So it's it's like I, if I were if I were in control of a stablecoin, you know, I wouldn't honor redemptions for it. But I also would if the if the network had adoption want to issue a new USDC on it. So like TRX has USDC on it, EOS has USDC on it, Ethereum has USDC on it. There's a lot of networks that have USDC on them because it's useful to promote their brand and get new users and just get more people's money sucked into their bank accounts that they make interest on and you don't. I mean that's their game, right? So with Pulse Chain starting with a bunch of users, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if they would want to launch a, you know, USDC from scratch in a new contract address on the chain, but I'm not sure that they would ever, I mean, people don't like it when you, like, take their stuff away from them. They get pissed off about it. So now we, we may have some, like, we may have some type of similar thing when we take away the freemium coins and the trial coins, but, you, you know. That's just what it is. Like if you give people trial stuff, coupons have expiration dates. That's how it works.